you know, I pick my battle, I don't know what happened. Yeah, I mean, I kind of can't keep on kicking off, you know, I don't know what they're going. I try to figure out, try again. All right. Keep on going on out. You try to kind of keep drop off again. Let me try again. Okay, okay. I know it's been a while. Please hear my prayer. I need you like I never have before. Sometimes it takes a mountain. Sometimes a trouble sea. From my salsa. This is JBS and you're listening to the world changer God for show. Sure. Keep it, keep it, keep it locked.
It's the World Changers Gospel Show. You are listening to the World Changers Gospel Show. You're listening to World Changers Gospel. Minister Dr. Kisa Pierce, and you are listening to the World Changers Gospel Show. Don't touch that dial. You are listening to the World Changers Gospel Show. You're listening to World Changers Gospel. Psalm of David said, Bless the Lord at all times. To the poor. And his praise shall continually be in my mouth. Oh. My soul shall make a boast in the Lord, um, shall hear of and be glad. Oh, oh magnify the Lord with me, let us exalt his name together. It's Sunday, the 17th of March, 2024. Bring out sons of I want to say good evening, good evening, welcome to each other, everyone. Welcome to the World Changers Gospel Show. It's a lie. I hear the song in the background playing. Let the church be the church. Let the people rejoice. We have set up the question, we have made our choice. Let the anthem ring on. Songs of victory bell. The church triumphant is alive and well. That's what we are here for tonight. It's all about the church. I don't care what other organizations want to do or what they want to represent, but we are here to represent the church tonight, and we are going to be the church, because the church for the is alive and well. It's the theme song for this program, 
You know, whenever you hear, whenever you hear, you hear the song, it's time for the world changers gospel show on a Sunday night. Uh, oh my God, you come in your homes, uh, in your cars, uh, at your workplace, wherever you are, with some good gospel music, gospel information, uh, gospel news, gospel views, uh, gospel teaching, gospel preaching. It's all up inside the world changers gospel show on a Sunday night. Uh, We are live on GG90.1 FM in Jamaica. We are live on YouTube. We are live on Instagram, Facebook. And I know that you are listening to me live tonight. So what I'm going to ask you to do to, for me tonight uh, Just press the share button Don't be afraid to press the share button Invite somebody tonight on social media To tune into the World Changers Gospel Show Because we've got a lot of inter- information here for you tonight It's entertaining It's spiritual It's informative It's all about the World Changers Gospel Show on a Sunday night Oh my God you're in for a cat one post time tonight. Eh? So Peter, I'm just a rock. Let me try build my church. Let me try the gates of hell. Let me try to not prevail. No weapon that is formed against the church can prosper. So in a few minutes we're gonna do the roll call. Make you feel officially welcome tonight inside the World Changers Gospel Show. So keep those comments coming that I can recognize you and call you by name. <laughs> I know some people rather when you call their name. So keep those comments coming in that I can see you and I can shout you out. And keep on inviting somebody to the program. Come on, just get on your WhatsApp. Get on your Facebook. Get on your YouTube channel. Get on Instagram. Share the program. Share the program. Yes, I'm waiting on you to share it before I go any further. Come on, somebody. Come on, share it. It won't take you anything to just to press that button and share the program. We're going to spread the gospel all over Facebook tonight. Uh, all over social media tonight. Uh, even on TikTok. Even though I, I heard that they're planning to shut down TikTok um, in the US. But let's look and see what's going on. But what they, one thing, they cannot shut down our vibes. They cannot shut down the church. We are still alive. We are still alive. It's safe and dry. Come on, rock your body, somebody. Rock your body. Let the church be the church. Let the church be the church. Get up in Jesus. We are the church. Let the people rejoice. For the question Our decoration tonight, who we are. The church is a body of believers that is called by Jesus out of this world to do his work under the direction of the Holy Ghost. That's who we are tonight. A body of believers called together to be one to do the work of the Lord under the direction of the Holy Ghost. So you should know by now that the church is only operated and directed by the Holy Ghost. This is not a man's doing. It's not me. It's not you. The church belongs to God himself. We are only the vessels. I don't want to tell you tonight, if you are not saved, God is searching for a body. God needs a body to put his spirit into. So make yourself available that God can put his spirit into you. So that you can be a part of the church tonight. Welcome, welcome to each other, everyone. So let us get the welcome song, and then we're gonna 
keep the welcome right now. Let everybody feel welcome inside the world change as gospel show. So here we go, here we go, here we go. This is who we are tonight. I've been telling us about 26 minutes after 8 o'clock. I want to say good night, good night, and welcome, 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 welcome to each other. We are the chosen generation. First, I must honor the Holy Spirit. Uh, acknowledge Him in our presence tonight. Uh, he make us to be who we are tonight. Uh. That's why you can touch yourself and say that we are a chosen generation. We are a royal priesthood. Uh. We are a peculiar people. Set apart. Chosen by God. So I want to say good night and welcome to Mr. Fitzroy Jackson. We are the I want to say good night to Tanto. Laura Raymond, good night and welcome to you. Bishop Easton Goldburn, good night and welcome. I want to say good night to Sister Mariana. We are still praying for you, Sister Mariana. I hope you feel better today. Good night and welcome to you. I want to say good night to Sister Jackie over there in Bamboo. Good night and welcome to you. Jacqueline Alexander, good night and welcome. Good night to Marlene Cross, <laughs> Sister Down Blake Squire, Pastor Gillings, good night and welcome to you. I want to say good night to all my listeners on GG 90.1 FM. I've got a technical difficulty, but I hope um, they will pick me up soon. <laughs> but we're going to move on in the meantime. I say goodnight to my sister over there in Grenada. I'm trying to remember your name in a few minutes. I, I gotta remember, I gotta find your name. And so do you. But we have a listener all the way over there in Grenada. Good night and welcome to you. Her name is Sister Judith Charles. Judith Charles over there in Grenada. Good night and welcome to you. And for all the latecomers, whenever you come, I'm going to make sure you make you feel welcome. And we're going to move on. We're not going to stop and wait until you all get here. 
I know we're gonna have a few late comers. Uh. I wanna say goodnight to Sister Patricia Livermore, a woman of God. Good night and welcome to you. Hey. Hey. That woman, she's gonna pray up a storm tonight. Uh. Do you know who you are? Enough of that said right now. Here's a look at what's coming up inside the world changes gas so for tonight. Uh, Sunday the 17th of March 2022. So coming up next we're gonna have the world changes gas mixer. Uh. That's where we're gonna eat some good gas music. Uh. We also have in the spotlight coming up for you tonight. Uh. And tonight in the spotlight, we are going to look at, and look at this topic tonight. Hold on, let me turn this down. Let me turn this down. I'm getting the feedback here, yeah. Yeah, so tonight the question is, is the food that we are eating, or is it the food that we are consuming, causing us to get sick? We're going to look at that tonight in the spotlight, as we have a little elt. Yes, we have a little... Um, we want to look at our health tonight in the spotlight. We have the experts. They're going to talk to you tonight. You can learn something and know the type of food that is causing us to get sick. We need to know more about that. So we deal with everything inside the World Changer Gospel. So tonight we're going to focus on our health tonight. Is the food that we are eating causing us to get sick? All of a sudden we have um, so many people getting cancer and getting um, diabetes. I've never seen that like, I've never seen it like that before. But well, the question is, is the food that we're eating causing us to get sick? We're going to look at that tonight at 9 o'clock in the spotlight. So, don't, don't, don't miss out on that. Don't miss out on it. It's very important for you to know. We're going to, we're going to hear from the experts tonight. So, check that out at 9 o'clock. At 9.30, we'll speak a word over your life. Yes. That's when we're going to pray for you. We're going to take your prayer because we're going to speak a word over your life tonight. And trust God and believe God that he'll come true for you. So stay tuned for that. And a lot more coming up inside the World Changers Gospel. So we also we're going to take your testimonies and continue to give you a regular shout out. We have a lot more gospel news, gospel views, gospel information to share with you tonight. And we're going to look at the big news of the week out of Jamaica. Yes, we have all of that inside the World Changers Gospel so for you tonight. So stay tuned. And don't forget the word tonight is, it's all about worship. The importance of worship. Yes, the importance of worship. We're going to look at that tonight as we go through the program. How important it is to worship and why we should worship. And what worship does. We're going to we're gonna share those information with you tonight. So stay tuned. We have a lot more coming up for you. So we're going to start out with some music tonight. But this is how I want to start things out tonight. We're going to do some praise and worship music tonight. Hope you all will be blessed. I'll focus on worship tonight. Watch this. And, and they were singing songs even from like this. They you know we come this far on our land. Sing all of those songs. Leaning on, say. Leaning on the Lord. And you know we're trusting. Trusting in His holy word. Oh, 
Come on, anybody trust God tonight? Uh? The song so we have come this far by faith. Uh? Leaning on the Lord. Come on, who are you leaning on tonight? Uh? Remember the number to call is 615-870-6316. That's 615-870-6316. Uh. If you have a testimony to share, if you want to shout out somebody, 615-870-6316. Uh. And you can also call that number on WhatsApp. Uh. Or if you want to call straight, uh, go ahead, go ahead. Uh. It's all about worship tonight. Last week we shared a topic with you. Stop worrying and start living. Oh my God, what a word that was last week. Stop worrying and start living. I know somebody enjoyed that word last night, last week. So tonight we're going to tell you the importance of worship. Because when you, when you worship God, you don't need to worry. Bishop Eastern Goldburn, good night and welcome to you. So we do this every Sunday night. It's called the World Changes Gospel Show. For those that are just joining us, this where we take a closer look at um, the church. What the church is all about, uh, what we need to do and what we are not doing. Uh, we're going to talk about inside the world changes gospel show on a Sunday night. Uh, we want to go back to foundation uh, because if the foundation be destroyed, uh, where shall the righteous be? Come on, man. We need to go back to foundation. Uh, let the church be the church. Uh, Red Cross is gonna be Red Cross. If the hospital is gonna be the hospital. The church ought to be the church. You can't expect the church to be doing what Red Cross is doing. The church is here for a purpose. I want people to understand what the church is here for. Oh my God. Diane Samuels, good night and welcome to you. We're gonna put you in the mood of worship tonight. tonight is, it's a worship night tonight. We're gonna worship God tonight. No one like Jesus.
No one like the father. No one like the son. All three in one. Come on. Come on, somebody. No one like the Holy Ghost. Williams, good night and welcome to you. Time 15 minutes up to 8 to 9 o'clock. That's Jamaica time. 15 minutes up to 10 in the US. Remember, coming up at 9 o'clock, we have in the spotlight for you. I have something very important to share with you on the spotlight tonight. Stay tuned for that. Coming up at 9 o'clock. I say good night to Marcia Morrison. Kemar, good night and welcome to you, Kemar. I know you are listening. Over the incense dancer.
No one like Jesus. There's something about the name of Jesus. Come on, somebody shout Jesus wherever you are right now. If you are feeling sick, call on Jesus. If you are in need, call on Jesus. If you are afraid, call on Jesus. If you need the Holy Ghost, call on Jesus. No one like Jesus. But just before going to the next song, uh, no. I want to share. I want to share a word with you tonight. I want to share one point with you tonight, as we look at the importance of worship. Uh. Oh my God, no one like him. No one like him. No one. Come on, somebody worship the Lord wherever you are right now. Set up some worship. Set up some worship. Let me see the worship. I go up, man. Come on, set up some worship. Uh. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. No one like Jesus. Somebody worship him. We worship the Lord. No one like you. None can compare to you. Hallelujah. Nobody like Jesus. No one like Jesus. There's something about the name of Jesus. There's something about the name of Jesus. There's power. There's power. There's power in the name of Jesus. There's healing in the name of Jesus. There's deliverance in the name of Jesus. The enemy get confused when I call the name of Jesus. Something about your name, Jesus. No one like Jesus. At the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow. Every tongue shall confess. That Jesus Christ is Lord. King and king, kings and kingdom will bow down to him. At the sound of his name. Demons flee. Demons tremble at the name of Jesus. No one like Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. So let me share a little let me, let me share a point with you tonight on our topic. As we look at the importance of worship. Because they know that many people can praise God, but it's not everybody can worship. Worship is different from praise. Because we tend to praise God because of the things that are happening around us. Sometimes because God has done something for us to so praise Him. But worship is, worship is deeper than that. We worship God in spite of. In spite of the problem that we are going through. In spite of the hurt. In spite of the pain that we are feeling. Even sometimes we get some church hurt. We still worship God because God is a spirit. And they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. So let us look at what the word worship is. Worship is when you give your deepest affection or highest praise to someone or something. When you give your deepest affection or your highest praise to somebody or to something. So whatever you whatever give your affection to, whatever you spend, you, 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 you give your heart, you, 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 whatever you give your heart to, whether something or whether someone, worship comes from the heart. So when you give your affection to um, that particular person. That's a demonstration of worship. And um, sometimes we worship things that you, you find people you spend time worshiping things that are around them. I don't they don't realize that they are worshiping it. But God is a spirit and they that worship we must worship in spirit and in truth. God wants us to worship him. When you worship God, you will get God's attention. So worship is giving your affection, getting intimate with God. Get, 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 get to that place where you find yourself in a relationship with God. That is how you're going to get to know God. That's the way you got, got to get connected to God through worship. So we're going to play this next song for you tonight as we... Get deeper into worship tonight. Get deeper into the topic tonight. I soon come with another point, but God is a holy God. God is great. God is to be worshipped tonight. Come on, somebody. Come on. Just to stand before 
Come on, worship God through the pain. Worship Him through the sorrow. Worship God because of who God is. We don't worship God because of what we want God to do for us. We don't worship God because of what He has done for us. We worship God because of who God is. We worship You, You reign. In a few minutes, I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you all, all Isaiah saw God. Holy, 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 Lord Almighty. He's a privilege. He's a privilege to worship. Oh my God. God, God, is, God wants us to worship Him. Maker. Worship no other God but Him. Oh, 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 I remember that God, that jealous God. Oh, oh. Worship your lover tonight. Worship Him. Worship Him. That's how you're going to get your breakthrough tonight. To you. That's how your prayers are going to be answered through your worship. Jesus. What do you want from God tonight? Eh? God is saying that you need to worship Him eh? and Him only. Sometimes we spend more time glorifying the devil more than glor more than worshiping God. Because when we, when we start to walk and say the devil do bad things to us, eh? and start to give the devil credit for the things bad things that he has done, eh? you, 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 you are glorifying Him. But we're not here to talk about what the devil can do tonight. Yeah. We're here to talk about what God can do. Yeah. We don't know Satan. We don't know him. Oh. But we know God. Worship your maker, man. Worship him. Worship him. Tonight and welcome to Toy and Reed. Oh, you didn't bother read?
night again to you, Marlene Cross. Can anybody declare tonight that God is greater? Come on, speak in the face of the devil tonight. Greater are you, Lord. God is greater than my problems. God is greater than this whole wide world. What a mighty God we serve. God is greater. Come on, declare that God is greater. That's the reason why we worship God tonight, because of who God is. We worship you tonight, Lord, because of who you are. Can I share something else with you tonight? To worship someone or to worship something. It's to praise it above anything else. So come on, who do you put above God tonight? Who do you worship above God tonight? Hallelujah. Great are you, Lord. Great are you, Lord. When I worship God, they put him above everyone else. When I worship God, they put him above, above everything else. That's who he is tonight. He's above all power, above all things, above all kingdom, above all kings. God must be worshipped. Come, let us worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness tonight. That's what God wants from us. God wants nothing else from us but just worship, true worship. And just to make ourselves available that he can use us. Are you somebody that God, that God can use tonight? Are you available tonight that God can use you? Come on, declare tonight that he's great. Come on, can I feel the worship tonight? Come on, somebody declare it. Declare it. Come on, some miracles are about to take place in your life right now. If you, if you only worship God, come on. Casting on this experience right now. It's a worship experience tonight. Great are you, Lord. Great are you, Lord. Ready to be praised. I'll praise you greatly. And all. Father, you reign. My God, it, it's, it's nine o'clock. Ten o'clock Eastern Standard Time. I will need to get in the spotlight, but oh, I can feel the worship right now. I can feel the atmosphere. We can't cut it. We can't trim it. If the spotlight even have to stay tonight. We got to give God some sort of worship in this place tonight. Wherever you are, Sister Marion, wherever you are, come on, worship God right now for your healing. Sister Jackie, worship God for your healing. Worship God for your breakthrough right now. Come on, he's your God, he's your God. Woo! To you, proclaiming. Rejoicing, dancing, dancing, dancing. Lord, you
to be praised. I'll praise you greatly in all the earth. Father, Listen, I'm a Facebook listener. I want you to come over to the YouTube channel because I'm going to cut down Facebook very soon. I don't know that Facebook, Facebook will shut down for some of these songs. But we got to worship our king up in here tonight. Come on, this is a, this is a, this is a gospel show with a difference tonight. We got to worship God up in here tonight. So I'm going to ask you to click on the YouTube link and go over to YouTube channel. Yes, listen to me on YouTube because I'm going to cut down Facebook. Because Facebook is not going to allow us to play these songs tonight. But we got to worship God up in here tonight. Uh. So if Facebook don't like what we're doing, we, we, we got to cut it off. But God must be glorified in this place tonight. Uh. God must be lifted up in this place tonight. Uh. Come on, somebody lift him up, lift him up, lift him up. Huh? We ain't gonna let the devil stop what we are doing tonight. Huh? Let praises rise from the inside, somebody. Come on. We're ministering to the inner man right now. That sickness is gonna burn out of your body tonight. Huh? Because of your worship. That job that you have been praying for for a long time. You're going to get a call. Because of your worship. That relationship problem that you have been having for years. God is going to turn it around. Because of your worship, let praises rise from the inside, somebody. So right about now, in another minute, I'm going to cut our Facebook. In one minute, I'm going to cut our Facebook and we're going to continue on YouTube. So click on to the link and go come on the YouTube channel. Because we're not going to allow anything to stop this worship tonight.
In the book of Isaiah chapter 6 and verse 1 through to verse 8. If you should read through that passage of scripture, you'll see where the real demonstration of worship was revealed. Yes, worship was revealed in Isaiah chapter 6. Isaiah said, in the year King Hosea died, I saw the Lord, I and lifted up, sitting on a throne. We're talking about worship right now. This is how Isaiah saw God, I and lifted up, sitting on a throne. And his train, his royal robes, it filled the temple. And round about him were six-winged seraphims, talking about angels now, six-winged angels. They were in the presence of the Lord. And the Bible said that they used two wings to cover their feet. They used two wings to cover their eyes. And with two wings they flew in the presence of the Lord. And declaring holy. Holy. Holy is the Lord God Almighty. Can you picture that tonight? Can you picture what... The, the vision that Isaiah, Isaiah saw God tonight, according to Isaiah chapter 6. I want to tell you tonight that God is a holy God. God must be worshipped because of who he is. Because if you refuse to serve, if you refuse, if you refuse to worship God, God is being worshipped 24 hours a day without you worshipping him. So that's the reason why we don't wait until God do something for us to worship him. I will not wait until it's convenient for us to worship God. We need to worship God as long as we have breath. One son said, I will praise the Lord with every breath that I take. I will praise the Lord this promise I make. And if eternity end and start all over again, even then, I will praise the Lord. That's the desire I must have. That's the zeal. That's the urge I must have. The urgency is to praise and to worship God. Even then, you will praise God. With every breath that you take, it's a praise unto God. Because we do not worship God because of what we want God to do. In the scripture, in Isaiah chapter 6, that I was telling you about just now, God is being worshipped 24 7 So whether you worship God or not, God is being worshipped. So if you don't want to worship God, it is your problem. But if you need your breakthrough, if you need to know God, if you need to move God, you got to worship Him. You got to know how to worship God. So this is all oh, Isaiah saw God sitting on a throne, high and lifted up. He said, If I be lifted up, I will draw all men unto me. I want to tell you tonight that God is high and lifted up. In spite of the problem that you are going through, God is still high and lifted up. In spite of your situation tonight, God is still high and lifted up. God must be worshipped tonight. All you got to do is worship God. You might not know the problem that you are going through. It only come your way. But it's just for a while. But you must know God. That whether good time or bad time. You need to worship him. So this song tonight is saying. Let us worship the Lord. In the beauty of holiness. In a few minutes, we are getting ready to pray and to speak a word of our life tonight. Let us worship the Lord in the beauty of the Lord. You need to cast in on this atmosphere tonight, somebody.
the sixth chapter of Isaiah, the model of true worship is revealed. There are three basic responses required of man. We have to acknowledge God as sovereign. We have to see ourselves as sinners. We have to accept the saving grace of God. And we must answer God's call to serve. And I heard the word from the prophet saying, In the year that King Uzziah died, I saw the Lord high and lifted up, and his train filled the temple. And hovering about him were six winged seraphites. With two wings, they covered their feet. With two wings, they covered their eyes, and with two wings, they did fly. And Isaiah said that his spirit shook the foundation of the earth. And so tonight, I challenge you to worship him in the beauty of his holiness. Oh, come, let us worship him. Let's worship him. and worship him. I'm doing good. How are you doing tonight, Dr. Key Spirit? I know that voice. I am so good. <laughs> Listen, I'm on the way from a convention and I'm stuck in traffic. <laughs> okay, well, well, keep on keep, keep, keep on listening, keep on, worshiping, keep on worshiping, keep on worshiping. Hallelujah. Thank you. God bless you. Just connect, that, 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 just connect your Bluetooth to the system and, uh, and worship. <laughs> to the system yes, in the vehicle. Yes. And worship. Yes, thank you. God bless you. Keep my company right through this traffic. All right, all right, all right. Good to hear from you. Safe travel, safe travel. All right, and come home. Thank you. Okay, okay, okay. Hallelujah. That was Dr. Keith appeared. She's on her way from church and she's listening. God is worthy to be praised. Come on, let, let's back up the song a little bit because you're coming kind of to worship God tonight. They covered their eyes and with two wings they did fly. And Isaiah said that his spirit shook the foundation of the earth. And so tonight I challenge you to worship him in the beauty of his holiness. Oh, come, let us worship him. Let's worship him. Let's worship him. Worship him. Receive my word. 
Yeah. Can I share something else with you tonight? Uh, when you worship God, you get God's attention. You ever wonder sometimes you are praying? Uh, are you asking God? And you're, you're, it's like you're, you're, your prayer is not reaching anywhere. It's like God is not attending to you. Let me tell you something, man. Just begin to worship. Find true worship from deep within and start to worship God. And see if you won't get his attention. Oh my God, Paul and Silas were locked in jail. And when it seemed like there was no way out, all they did, they began to worship God. And they got God's attention. Daniel was in the lion's den. And just begin to worship God. He got God's attention. Said Rap Misha and Abednego was shown the fire furnace. But all they did, they worship her. They got God's attention. Not only that they got God's attention, but God came to their rescue. That's the God I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about when I talked about worship tonight. So you got to worship God because of who God is tonight. Not because of what you want to be, but because of who God is. As we are getting ready to pray tonight, you can keep on sending your requests right now, whatever you need you have tonight. Just seeing on this worship tonight. Let's get God's attention tonight with your requests. Let your request be known before God tonight as you worship Him. Something's gonna happen in your life this week. Let your request be known. Come on, start sending those requests right now. We're gonna pray in another five minutes. Well, let us worship God first before going to prayer.
We're about to call the name of Jesus right now. Let your request be known. One last thing I want to share with you before um, we should go into prayer tonight. Um, that have you worship God. Let's think about this. When you worship God, His glory will come down. Do you want to feel yourself in the presence of the Lord? Do you want to feel God's glory? The only way you're going to feel God's glory is when you worship Him. His glory will come. And when the glory of God come, let me tell you something, man. The atmosphere must change. The atmosphere must change when the glory of God come down. Miracles will take place when the glory of God come. You need a miracle in your life tonight. You need a prayer to, you need your prayer to be answered tonight. You need to see a miracle in your life tonight. Worship God and let His glory come down. And when those miracles take place, oh my God, you will be healed. You'll be delivered. You'll be set free. But you got to worship. It's all about worship. That's what worship brings. Worship brings God's glory. And God's glory comes with miracle. I have a few requests here tonight. Uh. Hallelujah. We're going to come to pray for some of those that we got before. But Jesus has won again. Let this power fall. Can you imagine every time we call the name of Jesus? Uh. Power. The power of God. Fall. That, that's how the name of Jesus must be used. Now, whenever you use, use the name of Jesus. Whenever you use the name of Jesus, it must not be used in vain. The name of Jesus has power. So the song says, let your power fall. Let your power fall when your name is called. We're going to prove some doubters wrong tonight. Somebody will come back and testify. Oh, God has healed them. Because it's powerful when his name is called. As many times it's about 9.30 right now, 10.30 in the U.S., 9.30 in Jamaica. Oh, I'm going to try to get the woman of God on the line and we're going we're gonna to have prayer tonight. Uh. Again. 
You won. Somebody, you when you feel like to pray for somebody tonight. Thank you. I feel that it's prayer time right now. I said you have won. Yes, Lord, you have won again. You have won again. You have won again. You brought me up so many times. Over and over and over again. Yeah, yeah. You're a doctor that's never lost a patient. You're a healer. I didn't even know how I was going to make it. But I you pulled me through. Good night to you, Minister. How are you doing? Hello? Hello? Yes, I'm here giving thanks. Okay, okay. I'm hearing you now. I'm hearing you now. Okay. Yes, to, to God be the glory. That's all I got to do. Tonight, it's all about worship. God has led me in a different... Hallelujah. God has led me in a different direction tonight. And I know I believe that when we worship God... We're going to get our breakthrough. Miracles will take place. We we'll some more results. Yes. You know, yes. prayers. Yes. Prayers will be answered. Yes. So, yes. I just want to yes. yes. encourage my listeners tonight, if they're going to make a request, put a praise on it, man. There's a miracle in this house. My son said there's a miracle in this house. But you got to put a praise on it. So, you got to put Hallelujah. a worship on, uh, on your request tonight, my listeners. I'm encouraging you. Put a praise on it. So, as a woman of God on the line tonight, um, just share what you have to share for the next five minutes. Um, Minister Patricia Livermore, she's on the line and she's going to pray for your requests tonight. But uh, let's take the next five minutes and share a word. And then we're going to come with the requests and we're going to pray tonight in the name of Jesus. Go ahead, woman of God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Good night, good night, Radio Lamb. Um, Minister Livermore, I've come to tell somebody tonight... No matter what you have been going through, no matter what you have been facing today, I'm going to make a decoration tonight over somebody's life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah to your name, Jesus. Don't wait until any pastor to come and to make any decoration over your life. Come on, man. You're going to make it yourself. Hallelujah. First, you're going to say, I shall not die, but I shall live and declare the words Speak of God. It. I am the head and not the tail. I am more than a conqueror. Hallelujah. I am above and not beneath. I shall like, like shall be like a tree planted by the water. I shall not be moved. I shall make it. Hallelujah, Jesus. Greater is he that's in me than he that's in the world. You got to speak all these things over yourself. Life and death is in the power of the tongue. Yes. And you got to speak it in the name of Jesus Christ. So I'm telling somebody on Radio Land, on Facebook, on YouTube, speak these things over your life and watch God work in your life in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hallelujah to your name, Jesus. Hallelujah. I can testify to anyone. When I make this decoration over my life, I see results. I don't sit down and wait on pastors or bishops or apostles to speak these things over my life. I speak it and it's work for me. It yes. can work for you too. You got to believe and just do it. And I know that it will work for you in the name of the Jesus name of Christ. Jesus. Mighty God, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory come on, come on, people. Jesus. Come on, all those on YouTube. Start to speak some word of your life, Mighty man. God. Start to speak of your life now as you get ready to pray. YouTube, my YouTube listeners, please speak over your life. Hallelujah. On GTFM, speak over your life right now. Speak a word on that request that you are putting up. In the up. name of Jesus. I can see those requests coming in. Speak a word over that request, man. Speak a word over that request. Come on, it's your faith. In the name of Jesus. It's your it's gonna be your faith Hallelujah. tonight. Your faith is gonna work tonight. They're gonna speak a word over it. Yeah. Speak a word over it. Don't depend on just the woman of God to pray. But you got to use your faith tonight and speak a word over that uh Hallelujah. request that you are making tonight in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Alright, so um bless the name of Jesus. And listen to me, listeners. Don't wait until when the woman of God start prayer, start sending requests because that's what always happens. The requests have start coming in after the prayer start. And we're not gonna do it a second time again. So be obedient right now. Kissing on this opportunity right now. Let your request be known. 
If you feel like you're okay, pray for your family. Come on, we're going to put some things before God tonight. Come on, put some situation. Hallelujah. Pray, pray that, that, that we need to pray ahead of time. You don't wait until things happen. Yes. You need to have a prayer life, a connected prayer God. life with God. Pray for our strength and pray for things to come. Yes. Pray against things that yes. are about. Pray against destruction that is heading your way. These are Hallelujah. things you need to pray about. Don't wait until something happens to pray. Because sometimes you cannot find a word Thank to pray. God. But you got to pray against things. Pray against the adversary. Hallelujah. Pray against the things that are yes. about to happen. Hallelujah. This church is set Hallelujah. up for you that you don't know. Pray about things that you don't know. Hallelujah. Just don't sit down and say, God have your back. God have a God. They are saying that say God help those who help themselves. It's not, in the, it's not a scripture, but it's like saying, and it's true. You got to do something for God to do something for you. So don't wait until the thing happens. Don't wait until you are in the situation. You're calling for prayer. Pray about it before it happens. And say, no weapon that form against us shall prosper. Speak over your life tonight Hallelujah. in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. And see if things will come to pass. Hallelujah. Okay, so, Hallelujah. Um, so, so far we have Sister Jacqueline um, Alexander. She's asking for our prayer. She's asking for more, she need more strength. Yes. So remember, remember her in your prayer tonight, Sister Jacqueline Alexander. We have Sister Judy Charles. Hallelujah. Sister Judy Charles, from, she's from Grenada. She's asking for prayer okay. for asthmatic problem. Yes, can you pray for her? She has an asthmatic problem. She need prayer. Okay. And she's also asking prayer for prayer for Natalie George. Natalie George. She has Natalie George has a pain as pain in the knee. And she needs she need prayer. We prayed for Sister Marion last week. Well, to God be the glory, she'll be out of the hospital this Tuesday. But I want you to remember Hallelujah. her in your in your prayer same way. Continue to um keep her in your prayer. So please mention her to God tonight. She's out of the hospital. She says she'll be out by now and um Sister Natalie. Did sister, you say Sister Natalie? Yes, says Natalie, um let, let me get this. Natalie George. Natalie George out of Grenada. She's asking for prayer. Okay. For, she has pain in the knee. Okay. Mm, God, hallelujah. So, can, and can you pray for Sister Marian? Remember Sister Marian? Sister Marian, okay. Sister Marian. Right, she, she needs prayer. Okay. Okay. Uh, Al, Aldani. Uh, can I call it? Did I get his name right? Aldani. Ald, 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 Where do people get the name? <laughs> oh, my God. I'm trying to pronounce his name. So, this, don't mind spoil up a name now here. Um... But the, the name is Aldani Adlam. Say, so please pray for me to get back my phone. It was told. Oh, my okay, God. Aldani says, the person lost their phone. It might look like a joke, but. Yeah. Um, let's pray that God will provide another one for, for that person. Or maybe the store phone might have okay. some very important information. And then warm, you want a good phone. And some simple little things okay. sometimes we might look at and say, and say, take it for a joke, but trust me. But pray that God will let that person who steal that phone or that person who find that phone, when they, when they ring that phone, they will answer the phone and return it back. Because oh, maybe yeah. sometimes you have your phone and some very important information is saved on your phone and you cannot afford to lose it. So buying a new one sometimes don't make no sense. So I understand what, it, what it's like. So pray that I'll, I'll even... Aldani, I'll I, I get near it. That was pronounced as Al, Aldani will get back the phone that was stolen. So, remember that to God. God. So, uh, let, let me see if I have any more. Let me see if I got any more before um, I, I, I let, you, let you move on, man of God. Okay, they are, coming, they are coming in, but um, before I pray for me, I need strength. I got that one already. Okay, so, okay, go ahead and put those requests before God. As we believe God tonight, we believe that his power is fall, will fall. As his name called tonight. Let's call his name tonight and put, it, put, put these requests before God. Jesus. His power is going to fall tonight in the name Hallelujah. of Jesus. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Let's all agree. YouTube, let's all agree tonight. Hallelujah. Wherever you are, lift your faith Hallelujah. with us tonight. This is not a joke. It's a serious thing. It's God business. And God Hallelujah. must do something for his children. And we have no way else to turn. In the name of Jesus. The other night, um, I don't quote the woman of God, but 
they 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 are they saw on social media we are, we see what we see the biggest news out of Jamaica last week. I'm not here to really promote any any DJ or anything, but we see where the lawyer said that he is called on his source um from um Saint from Saint Thomas who helped him to get out of the case and he said let them know that they have more work to do. You understand? So he's asking his, his source. So you know that who be a man to talk about. You understand? Help him to um to, to, to get to bust this case. And they will call upon them for, for him because they have they have further more to go for, for finish this case. So people have their source that they look to. But we know who we look to tonight. We're gonna call on the name of Jesus tonight. We have no other source but Jesus God tonight. Christ. No other source but Jesus tonight. Only the source of only the source of Jesus Christ. That's the only source. God. I will look unto the hills from whence come my help. Uh, my help come from the Lord which made heaven and earth. Go ahead, woman of God. It's your time. It's your time. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Most righteous and everlasting Father, as I come before you tonight on behalf of these requests, mighty God, I put your daughter, Sister Jackie, tonight. Lord, she need your strength, Holy Ghost. Mighty God, she only can look to you because all of our strength will come from you, Almighty God. So tonight, Lord, I put her before you, mighty God. Hallelujah. I said, give her the strength that she need in her body right now. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Father, we want to look to you for everything, not for something, but everything. Because we know that you are God. And you are God all by yourself. So tonight, Lord, take Sister Jackie tonight. Fill our mighty God with your power. Fill her up with your strength. Let you know that God is a present help in the time of trouble. So right now, God, as I put her before you tonight, I said, cover under your blood. Guide and protect our God in our going out. Guide and protect our in our coming in. Father, cover under your blood tonight. I leave her in your hands tonight, mighty God. And I say, take full control. In the mighty name of Jesus, mighty God, this sister all the way in Grenada of that asthma attack, I come against asthma attack tonight. I said, asthma attack, you got to back up. Hallelujah. You got to back up. Oh, in the name of Jesus hallelujah, Christ, hallelujah, God, you have given us the power, the name of Jesus. mighty God. And you said, God Almighty, oh, where you are loose on earth, hallelujah. you have loosened Glory. up in heaven. So tonight, as I come before you tonight, mighty God, I said, reverse every asthma attack Glory. right now. Hallelujah. In, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Jesus. In the name of God, Jesus. You're not healing Jesus. You're the deliverer. Mighty God, you're the deliverer. So we call upon you tonight because we know that God, by your strive, she's deal. I am saying tonight, mighty God, in the name of Jesus Christ, that she's deal. In the name of Jesus. So right now, God, in the name of Jesus. we call it done. We call it done, God, because we believe in healing. We believe in deliverance, mighty God. So we know that this, your daughter, is healed in the mighty name of Jesus. Mighty God, I put Sister Natalie before your God. Having that pain in our knee, mighty God, I come against this pain. And I said, in the name of Jesus, the time is up. Knee pain, your time is up. I come against you tonight and I say right now, leave this woman's body right now in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Father, I am calling on you tonight, God. Do it for your daughter, God, because they, they don't know where to turn to God, but I know they can look to the ills for ways come at their help because their help coming from you. So tonight, of your way, mighty God, in Natalie's life, work miracles, mighty God, do work sign and wonders for her in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Father, put Sister Marian tonight. Mighty God, she's in the hospital, but right now, God, I don't know which hospital she is right now, but Holy Ghost on a search tonight. Visit her in the 
the name of Jesus Christ. Mighty God, they said, there's nothing that is too hard for you to do. So do it for your daughter right now. Not tomorrow, Jesus, but right now at this time. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Father, you said in Isaiah 53, verse 5, you are wounded for her transgression. You are bruised for her iniquity. The chastisement of your peace was upon her, and by your strife she is ill. Mighty God of your way in her life tonight, let she have a testimony to give. Let you know that you are God, and you are God to work miracles. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Father, Sister, that sister with our phone, mighty God, that our phone is last, mighty God. I'm asking her tonight, Jesus, to provide a new phone for her. Do it for her, mighty God. Mighty God, she's depending on you, God, to do it for her. So tonight, God, as I stand in the gap for her, I said, God, stand for her tonight, God, and do it for her because she's depending on She's depending on you, mighty God, to do it for her. So open the windows of heaven, God, and pour out a mighty blessing upon your daughter tonight. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, give her our heart desire, mighty God. Give her the phone that you need, mighty God, to do what you got to do. So right now, God, I am calling on you. And I said, Lord, have your way tonight. Take full control in the mighty name of Jesus. So right now, God, as we lift all these requests to you tonight, I said, God, do it for your people, God. Work it out for them. Lord, they are depending on you, mighty God, to come through with a breakthrough. Hallelujah. They are depending on you for a miracle. So do it for your people right now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Father, we are depending on you. Only your report, we believe, God. Yes, so do it for your people tonight. Do it, mighty God. They are longing, mighty God, for you to come true for them. So come true, mighty God, like you never come true before. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. So tonight, God, we tell you thanks, God. We give you all the glory. We give you all the honor. We give you all the praise because we know that, God, you are God, and you are God who answer by fire. So tonight, God, we thank you. We thank you. We thank you for all that you have been doing and all that you about to do in Jesus', Jesus mighty name. name in the name of Jesus Christ in the name hallelujah, of Jesus we tell it is done it is done in Jesus mighty name, name hallelujah Jesus. Jesus hallelujah bless the name thank of you, Jesus thank you minister thank you, Lord. Let's, let's can't deliver the foot of the cross thank you can't live close to God hallelujah. and allow God to lead you and as you can do your prayer hallelujah. group we just believe that God is going to yes. continue to use you. Yes. All the best yes, sir. through the yes, course sir. of the week. Looking back forward Hallelujah. to hear from the next week. Some of the people on the God YouTube are saying, you. good, some of the people on the YouTube are saying good night to you. So, um, thank you, thank you, thank you, right, thank you. Right. Yeah, thank you. So. God bless you. Hallelujah. Take care. God bless you, my God minister. Bless you. God, right, bless you. Right, God bless right. you. God bless you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I know we should be finishing, but... Take it for me two more times. Songs the Lord deliver me. Deliver me.
God rescue me from myself. The part of the song that really um, that really got my attention. If you listen, is, all I seem to do is to hurt me. If you're struggling with your past, and say. It. So I'm asking God to deliver me. Because all I do is hurt me. Sometimes we do some things on our own. Sometimes we do we might do the things that we want to do. And we did not do it with God, we did it without God. And it only hurt us more. What we need is for God to deliver us, sir. From ourselves, when we pray, because we, have, if we allow self or flesh to lead us, you're just gonna hurt yourself more. For all of you listening. But the song is saying that Lord deliver me, the things that hurt you, because all I seem to do, the only thing that I do is earn me. A new day. I cannot do it myself. You, I cannot lead myself. Really? I cannot allow me to lead me. I need you to lead me, Lord, because all I do is to hurt me. This song is deep. Anybody get the message tonight? Uh, can somebody ask God to do that tonight? Uh, deliver me, Lord. Deliver. Come on, come on. Ask God to deliver you tonight uh, from yourself. Uh. One of your biggest enemies is yourself. You know? Did you know that the biggest enemy and biggest enemy you can ever face is yourself? Think about it. The biggest enemy you can ever is not Satan. It's not the demons them that, um, you, uh, that you come across each day. But self is one of the biggest demons. The biggest enemy you can ever come across is self. So we are asking God tonight, deliver us, Lord. Because all we do is to hurt ourselves. So as the prayer was prayed tonight, uh, I just want to encourage you. You don't need to go back to that same situation. Uh. You don't need to take it up in your hands. Uh. You don't need to fight your battles by yourself, huh? because all they're going to do is to hurt you. But ask God to deliver you. That's what he will do for you. And when God delivers you, you are delivered. You'll never go back there again. Hallelujah. Lord, deliver me. Because all I can seem to do. To hurt me. God doesn't care if you're mad and angry. Hallelujah, hallelujah. He wants you to talk to him either way. Yes. I'm struggling to have a baby. I'm struggling. Yes. All right, all right, all right. So we're going to move from that song to this song. This is what. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. That's not the song I'm looking for. Oh, Hallelujah. This is the song I'm looking for. This is what God wants you to know tonight that He's on your side. This is the song I'm looking for. As we're getting ready to close tonight, um, God wants to ask you something tonight. Listen. As you're going to close tonight, I'm here to remind you that God loves you. Love no matter how many times you have messed up, God still loves you. I'm not here to say that you, are con you must continue to mess up day after day and do the same thing over and over. 
Lord. You're not here to abuse God's mercy. Just but wherever you are, whosoever you are right now, I want to tell you that God loves you. you. And that's this is what He wants you to know tonight. Let us hope you learned something from this program tonight. Uh, as our focus tonight was worship. Uh, the importance of worship. How important it is for you to worship God. Hope you got something from the word tonight. Uh, the songs that we play. The prayer that we pray. I trust God that your souls will be rich and blessed tonight. Uh. I want to close on this note tonight. Let you know that God loves you. He wanted you, want you to stop murmuring and complaining. All around you. How many nights must I wipe your tears away? How many storms must I bring you safely? Annette Willis, good night and welcome to you. Please, I'm looking back, I'm looking forward for you next week again, same time, same place. From 8 until 10 p.m. We do this every Sunday night, so who's ever invite you? Thank you for coming. Looking forward to have you next week again, Annette Willis. So as I close tonight, I just want to thank you all for joining me. Right inside the World Changes Gospel Show on a Sunday night. Uh, if the Lord tarries, uh, and if it is His will, we'll be back next week, Sunday night, same time, same place. Uh, with another episode of the World Changes Gospel Show. We'll see where God will lead us next week. Uh, Sorry if you did not get what you want tonight, uh, but I gave you what you need. Uh. Just take good care of yourself and your family. Be safe. Uh. Jesus love you. World changer love you. God bless you. I'm out of here tonight. Uh. See you again. God's willing.